Hello, my name is Thayane and I like to experiment with all kinds of AI technologies. There have been many news and changes to Midjourney lately that I have not yet covered. So in this video, let's go through what has been going on with Midjourney during the past month or so. The biggest news of them all may be that version 6.0 is about to be launched to beta mode any day now. It means that if you have no clue about the versions and you just want to run pictures, the newest version 6.0 will be the default very soon, if it is not already. Pan, Zoom and Vary were also added to the 6.0 version in the end of January. There seem to be some small changes to their behavior. Just to go over them briefly, Pan allows you to expand the image to the side, but it will no longer infinitely increase the resolution of your image. Zoom allows you to zoom out. I was kind of annoyed with V6 when it came out without this feature, so now this makes it possible to expand your image or change its aspect ratio. And Vary, Region, allows you to select a region on your image and generate something new in its place. It comes in handy in certain situations. All the returning features with the exception of Vary, Region, are also available with the Alpha website. I haven't talked about this before, so if you are not familiar what the Alpha website is. It is the alpha.midjourney.com address, which is available now for everyone who has generated over 1,000 images. So if you know you have at least that many images generated, then you should be able to access it. If you can't, then go to Discord and any of the channel on the Midjourney server, where you can write and do a slash info command. That will update your permissions and show you some handy information about how many images you have generated and how many fast hours you have remaining. And the Alpha website basically looks like the regular website, except you are able to generate your images right on the website. There is also a new command slash feedback that allows you to submit ideas to Midjourney that they should be working on in your opinion. And you can also rate other people's ideas there seems to be new segment during the weekly office hours where the most popular ideas are gone through and commented on by the devs. It certainly gives us a way to impact what we would like to see Midjourney do next. Niji has also received a major update, and it also has version 6 available since the end of January. And just like the regular model, it also has its own raw style available as well as pan, zoom and vary region features. I took a quick look at them with a few words. So if you like anime styles, go ahead and try out the new Niji version 6 model. Just add dash dash Niji 6 to your prompt or select Niji model 6 from the settings. And probably my favorite feature out of all the new stuff is the dash dash S ref. I have really enjoyed playing around with it. So it is the initial version of setting a consistent style for your images. Up until this point, we had to try to get to the style with words, and it wasn't always really consistent. And it really often either didn't work well or not very strongly. Some words kind of overpowered some styles. It is something in between style codes we had in 5.2 and image prompting. Similarly to an image prompt, you give an image or several images as a reference and the resulting image will be in a similar style with similar colors you can also set weights to the references with a double colon and number just like you would with image prompting or multi-prompting. And similarly to the style codes, you can play around with the stylization strength. You can go from 0 to 1000 with the default being 100. And you can also combine it with image prompting. I haven't tried that out yet myself, but I am really intrigued about what the results would be. It is a really powerful new tool and it depends entirely on you what you decide to do with it. In my opinion, the possibilities and combinations for new styles are endless. My favorite thing lately has been to prompt for all kinds of different styles and then using those results as the style reference. You can even use a grid of images as a style reference image. Here are some of the styles that produced really awesome looking styles in my opinion. I will begin with OKU art. So first is just the style prompted on its own. I then took the link of the entire grid with right click and copy link. And then I added the the entire grid as the reference image. First image is a tulip with default style. Second image is tulip with raw style. 
Third image is Fox with default style, and fourth is Fox with raw style. Then I generated a reference image grid with raw style. And again repeating the same pattern. Tulip with default and raw styles and also Fox with default and raw styles. And now some more styles I tested out for you. Scruffito. Colorful spray. Muralist Neo Geo Dripping paint. Limbo Sprite Sheet
tech symmetry. Vintage clip art. Gravure printing. So there you go, some news and a handful of styles to try out. Thank you so much for watching, do consider subscribing to my channel if you like this kind of content. And let's continue prompting.